Hello my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be your love reading for October 2019. <sighs> Capricorn, we are very close to October. I'm feeling this towards the end of September and I'm already feeling the intensity of October. Uh, I'm not sure if you're feeling it, but... It's really going to force us as a collective to get balanced. Libra energy, Libra season is about balance and it's forcing us to um, not push so hard. Where is it in your life that you're just forcing things? You're pushing yourself too much. You're not allowing the energy to come through, Capricorn. So we're going to feel it as a collective. So that being said, if you are interested in taking a look at my new bracelets that I've launched, calling in your person, inspired by the Romance Angel car, car, oh, card called Calling In Your Soulmate, um, check it out. I have the Masculine Yang bracelet energy and the feminine energy the yin so please check that out whatever energy calls to you um read the description it's really based on um what i was inspired by and what i i want to inspire others to do and it's not just you know the fact of wearing a bracelet and it's magically going to change your life and it's magically going to um, have someone appear on your doorstep. No, um, this has to do with aligning with an energy that is for your highest and best good. So if you are not uh, motivated and you are stuck in a rut and you feel like you need that extra push, put yourself out there energetically when it comes to relationships, then the yang is for you. Whereas if you are too pushy and you're too controlling, you want to control when and where and how and, and who uh, walks into your life, then you need the feminine yin, halite, stone energy bracelet. So take a, take a look and let me know what calls to you. Um... We're going to take a look at the energy for October in love for you, the person you're connecting with. Remember, time is an illusion. Energy is fluid. So if this hasn't occurred yet, then check back in a few days or weeks. This energy is fluid. It's constantly evolving. It's constantly changing. So what is your overall energy? I've been shuffling the Tattoo Tarot deck, my brand new deck here. Beautiful cards for a while here. So let's take a look. What is... Capricorn. Okay, that was quick. Oh my goodness. Okay, your energy is the Knight of Cups with the Ten of Cups. Capricorn, are you in love? Secretly in love? Secretly hiding your feelings? You're feeling fulfilled right now. You're feeling fulfilled. Some, someone... You got your eye on someone, that's for sure. And the Knight of Cups is like this uh, secret admirer energy where we're not really revealing our feelings. But I feel like something in your energy is making you feel fulfilled. I mean, we got cups. We got a lot of cups. Ten of Cups. It's like the epitome of happiness and being fulfilled. Which is beautiful for you, Capricorn. Holy crap. Wow. Go Capricorn. Now let's see. What is the... And the overall energy of the person you're dealing with. I feel like you're in love. Wow. You are in love. Just be aware that the, the role placements can be reversed, okay? This can be the person you're dealing with if the messages don't resonate with you specifically. Okay. These are general. So check out your moon rising in Venus if these don't relate to your situation. Holy crap. The person you're dealing with here, the lovers, can be a Gemini. Someone here who has a, a decision to make in love very sacred sexual bond here the lovers is deep soul connections let's get another card please looking good so far in your overall energies for both for both of you anyway someone here might have a decision to make 
the temperance temperance so temperance is patiently waiting patiently taking your time taking their time to make this this decision in love or on the other hand i feel like for some of you this person you balance them out yeah you bring balance to their life but the lovers three of wands yeah I feel like you make them balanced and patient. Interesting. We got temperance. We got Gemini. We got cups. Capri um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Okay. What is? What do you want this month? What is in your heart's desires this month, Capricorn? So far, it's looking good. I mean, your energy is looking beautiful. But what do you want? Okay. So you want equal give and take. You want balance. Okay. You want... You know, the person to, to make as much effort as you make, right? Okay, that makes sense. Let's get one more card for my Capricorn. Ace of Wands. Okay, so you want this new beginning. You want a spark. You want this new beginning to be balanced and fair and res reciprocated, okay? You want a new beginning. You want to receive this new opportunity in love. You're ready to receive it. Deep down, you're ready to receive it. You're passionate. That's what you... Deep down, you want passion. Chemistry. None of this unrequited love bullshit, right? Six of Swords. Okay. So the Six of Swords is telling me that you want to move away from things that caused a lot of chaos because the six of swords the five of swords that came before the six of swords was a little bit chaotic there was a lot of fighting maybe in your past and you want to move away from all that you want to move on to something that's calmer that's more peaceful okay now what about for you for the person you're dealing with for the energy that you're connecting with here what do they want what's in their heart's desires what's their intentions Ace of coins. They want an opportunity too. They want commitment. Wait, they want stability. They just want an opportunity. Look at that beautiful card. They want an opportunity to flourish with you like that beautiful rose. Beautiful. I'm just so mesmerized by these cards. Like I could read them all day. I'm just, I feel so inspired by them. And I want to thank the author for creating them because I just needed like a different vibe to like inspire me to read cards my my decks you know i have had these decks for a few some for a few months uh some for almost a year all right let's go with these of coins give me another card to clarify they want an opportunity they want this opportunity maybe even to move because six of swords speaks of moving moving in together you know um sealing the deal when it comes to moving in together justice fairness okay they want to sign contracts for some of you they want you know the legal issues to be um taken care of okay they want fair they want things to be balanced and fair okay with this new opportunity with this new beginning okay because i feel like they've been they've been burned before with the ten of wands they they've been carrying a lot over their shoulders Okay, and I feel like both of you want to move on from that. Yeah, you guys want something to celebrate, whether that's a new home, a new relationship, new uh, level of commitment. All right, let's go with how do you see this person in the month of October? How do you see this person? Okay, you see this person as having the power to manifest. This person can, or you in your eyes, can just Make shit happen. The magician makes shit. He just makes shit happen. He just takes what he has and just manifests. He's creative. He's magic. He's full of magic. He just makes things happen. I keep repeating myself, but he makes it happen. Or she makes it happen. The Hierophant. Could be a Taurus. Um... How do you see this person? You see this person as an opportunity. Someone who can. 
with whom you can reach a level of commitment. The Hierophant is commitment, it's traditions, it's belief systems. It's a higher order. They see you as someone they can commit to. Beautiful. Wow. I'm blown away by your reading. Um, the person you're connecting with here, I'm not feeling those. I'm not feeling those. I just want to ask my question, Spirit. Um, how does this person see you? How does this person see you? How does this person view you this month of October? Eight of coins, eight of pentacles. They see you as working really hard. The eight of pentacles is an energy of someone who's putting in the work. Whether that's actually putting in a lot of work into your job, into your career, into your business. Or it's just someone, they see you as someone who's, who, who's a good investment. Yeah, who's a good investment. Because you know, you're investing your effort, you're, you're investing your time to build in the, with the eight of coins, eight of pentacles. Four of coins. Holding back though. Four, so you see you've got some four of pentacles here. Maybe they see you as someone who is holding back and is, fo is solely focused on work right now. He's very focused on work. And someone who is just not as open as they'd hoped. Because the four of coins is like holding back from something. You know, holding back from spending money. We're holding back from opening up. We're holding back something. Queen of Swords. They see you as a Queen of Swords. So maybe they see you as someone that you that they can't uh, easily approach. Because the Queen of Swords is not very approachable. She's a little bit uh, emotionally detached. Not as affectionate and as calming and as warm as the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Um, she's just very direct and straightforward in her communication she sets boundaries and she puts you in your place so it's hard to get through the queen of swords because she she has that guard up right with that sword so they see you as the queen of swords all right all right let's take a look at their at your feelings what is in your feelings how do you feel about this connection this person this month five of wands okay you feel conflicted why do you feel conflicted? The five of wands is conflict. It's conflict, but in the feelings, it's conflicted, self con con conflict with yourself. You're conflicted. There's like there's inner chaos within your feelings. Is that a five or a six, guys? I'm just not able to read numbers these days. Sorry, that is six of wands in their emotions. No, you're you're definitely six of wands. I feel like. You want to, you you know, a six of wands in the original deck is basically public recognition and it's success and it's victory. Emotionally, you want to be validated. You know, six of wands is someone who recognizes you for who, for your, your accomplishments, but you want to be validating your emotions. This is emotions. I'm in, I'm asking about your emotions. So how do you feel? You feel like maybe this person would be, Six, you would be successful with this person. It would be an actual success. You would be victorious. Let's get one more card with that six of wands. Sorry, I can't I can't read these days. Six of wands and not five of wands. So it's actually good news. Your reading is really positive. Like good energy here. Strength. So how do you feel? You feel like you can overcome things. You can overcome yeah, you can win. You can be victorious and you and you can feel you you want to feel like you can overcome anything with this person. And that's how you're going to be feeling this month. A feeling of overcoming and just this sense of resilience of being able to get back up with this person when times get rough. You know what I mean? Um what's in their feelings? How do they feel in the month of October? How do they feel about this connection? How do they feel? Knight of Wands with the Knave of Coins. I feel like they're a little bit impulsive in their emotions. Knight of Wands is someone who is a little bit impulsive, who's very quick. 
quick to offer something with the Knave of Cords, which is the Page of Coins, quick to, to speak up. Because the this can be a messenger, right? A messenger of wanting to move forward. Wanting to move in. Wanting to, you know, it's just offering something. They want to offer you something, but it comes in quick. And in, in, in their emotions and their feelings, it's a little bit impulsive. It's a little bit like, oh, I want to I get this. I want to seal the deal. This is what I'm hearing. Sealing the deal. I wanted to get it done. Okay, I'm not feeling those. So we're going to go with a challenge. Challenge. What is the challenge or the influence? What's influencing or challenging this spread? Ooh, the Knave of Wands. Who is this? Okay, the Knave of Wands. Aries, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Is this someone else? This can be a child. This, this is someone of a younger age, of a younger energy. Someone who's a little bit more, you know, immature than the knight and the king. Um, can be can can it be a child? Five of Swords. Okay, now we got the Five of Swords. So we got some conflicts here, some disagreements. Not seeing eye to eye and trying to always win an argument about this Knave of Wands. This Knave of Wands is challenging the spread here. So who is this Knave of Wands? Can you give me more information about this, please, Spirit? Eight of Cups. Someone moved on. Someone walked away from this Knave of Wands. Could have been someone from the past. Yeah. Someone that caused some heartache here with the Three of Swords. Disappointment. Family. Divorce. I'm hearing... Someone needs to get their like their legal documents sorted out here. Someone here is not walking away. So when it's in the challenge here, it means that this name of wands is challenging, is in the challenge position with the eight of cups. Someone here can't walk away from this knave of wands. Someone can't say no to this knave of wands. Okay, so that's the challenge here. Someone still has feelings for someone. I just saw the Page of Cups. Can you give me more information about this challenge with the Eight of Cups and the Knave of Wands, please? Okay. Could be with an Aquarius. The Star. The challenge with the Star is it's lack of faith. There's a lack of faith. There's a lack of hope around, around something that involves an... A, a younger or immature energy that doesn't want to walk away, that doesn't want to move on because they're still very sad and regretful. There's a lack of faith and hope that you can get this Ten of Cups. Because I feel in your energy, this is what you want. This is what you're, you're calling in. But something here, whether that's with the person you're dealing with and their issues and their crap, Someone here is still holding on to sadness and regret and disappointment because they're not there. There's a lack of hope. There's a lack of faith for the future here due to something from the past that's still lingering. Three of coins. Yeah, there's a third party here. Three of coins. I'll show it to you. Three of coins. There's a third party. Someone that. Someone was in a relationship or, or still had some type of um, partnership or agreement, like co-parenting and stuff like that. Um, what is the most likely outcome of this spread? What is the most likely outcome of this spread, please? Okay. Oh, judgment. Okay, let me show it to you guys. The results... Of someone's actions will be revealed will be res resurrected someone will have to make a decision someone will make a decision someone's here is called to make a decision forced to make a decision this is the universe this is an angel yeah things gotta move forward with the world completion something has to come to a complete end here something has to come to a conclusion something is still lingering this is what I was feeling. Something is still lingering from the past. No, I'm not feeling those, but this one, 
looking to the future, planning for the future, waiting for something to come in here is what the energy is most likely to be. So here we have someone having to make a decision. The universe is pushing this per person to make a decision, or this is an energy of karma. Someone's kar karmic actions are, are being revealed here. Okay? Something from the past is now being resurrected and being called to. Three of Wands, we are waiting. Waiting. Give me one more card, please, Spirit, for that Three of Wands and Judgment for the most likely outcome. Waiting. Waiting for your Two of Cups. Beautiful. Waiting for this, you know, connection to come through, to come to two people coming together, mutual understanding. My cup is your cup. I'm offering a cup that's just as full as yours. It's it's all equal. This is love. But someone needs to make a decision in order to plan for a better future. And so that love will will come in. Will come in. The Empress, the beautiful Empress here. Abundance, growth. Things will start start to rise to the surface finally. The Queen of Wands. Okay, so there's going to be action being taken here. Beautiful Capricorn. So we are going to pull out some cards from my new deck, Oracle card deck called the Sacred Rebels. We're going to pull out one spiritual card for you and one spiritual card, advice card for your person or the, you know, whatever energy that you're dealing with uh, this month of October. Remember, time is an illusion. Energy is fluid. Okay, this came out here on this side. So I'm going to stick to this side. Inner trust. Someone needs to trust their gut, guys. Someone is not trusting their gut, their intuition. I just want one card, please, Spirit. Not two, not three. Someone doesn't trust themselves. Doesn't trust what they feel. Bring it into form. Okay, for me, that's manifestation. But we're going to take a look at it. We're going to look at it from the book. We're going to read it from the book. Page 41, number 41. Bring it into form. We're going to show it to you with inner trust for the spiritual advice card. Isn't that beautiful? Let's take a look. Number 41. Bear with me here. I'm not going to read it all, but I will pick a part of it that is called to me, okay? 41, 41, 41, bring it into form. You are being asked to honor yourself with a commitment to complete your inspired tasks. This will help you to grow. And that is wonderful. That is a wonderful reason to commit. But there is another reason too. You know that your inspired ideas are worth translating into practical forms so that other people can access them and experience something special too. If you've been thinking about writing a book, painting a picture, acting on an inspiration or an idea, then this oracle is bringing you an inequivocal yes, do it. Now, don't dally or, de or dither about the details or worry about how it's all going to work out. That's why you need to surrender. The universe loves a bold spirit. Once you take a step, it will rush toward you like an enthusiastic and chival chivalrous lover, opening doors, hand gently guiding you at your lower back as you are moved forward. You will promptly be provided with all that is needed to take the next step. Taking the next step, making that move. And this is what was the challenge, right? Is that someone here is not having the faith to make that move? Someone here still needs to make to, to move to walk away from something because something is still holding you down. Someone someone's still in that sadness and that disappointment. And then we got inner trust for the person your the cross watcher or the person you're dealing with their spiritual advice what they should be doing in the month of october uh number two number two okay what am i guided to read here sometimes what you sense will be more challenging than this and will and will ask something different of you 
It might be that you sense fear and sabotage lurking within someone's intentions or in the situations around you. Someone doesn't trust here. This oracle asks you to trust yourself to find the most authentic and self-loving way to deal with that. Perhaps you have drawn this card because you are unnecessarily holding yourself back out of fear. Yes, the five of cups, the lack of faith and hope. You know, you're not, you're still holding on to something here. They're still holding on to something if it resonates. So the lack of fear or of belief or a lack of belief in your ability to support and care for yourself or in the importance of your need for self-expression in your relationships. So this person needs to trust their gut and trust you and trust the situation and trust the divine and that whatever happens is uh, meant to happen. Whatever happens is meant to happen for our highest and best good. So let's pull out some romance cards. Where are we at in timing? 26 minutes. All right. What other rom romance? Okay. Pay attention to the red flag. So there's some signs here that are cautioning you. So be careful here. All right. If someone is showing you that they're not ready and if they are still holding on to someone from the past, be careful with that energy. Playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So this is what they're saying is that if this is you that you're not trusting, it's because you are being too serious about this whole thing. And I think you need to just to recapture that sense of romance this month. You're going to have to allow your, your inner child to come out. And the inner child within us, like children, are full of wonder and curiosity and excitement um and joy and just so they're so present if you hang around with children they're so very present so how can you recapture that sense of presence in your life and just be part of that when you are trying to connect with someone okay we're going to keep these give your relationship a chance someone here you know wants to work on the relationship for some of you this is just a message from spirit saying you know give it a chance but for some of you, it's saying this other person wants to give it a chance. But you got to pay, pay attention to the red flags. There's some red flags here that maybe are not allowing you to connect. Chemistry. Again, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. You guys are connected. There's a connection. There's an, there's, there's an attraction for sure. But there's something here that is sabotaging and they did talk about the sabotage someone has sabotaging behaviors all right guys i hope these messages resonated if they didn't please check out your moon your rising and your venus it was a pleasure reading for you capricorn for october 2019 check out my instagram facebook and my new website to purchase my bracelets have a good one and take care